Welcome to the EZLEU Week 1, I believe, talent show. I am your caster, Data Zook, and supported by little old lady as our streamer, so props to her. Thank you so much. We have uh, Potane Katka on the left side on Team A, and we have Les Cancerix on the right side of Team B. So let's get this Blitz match started on the first N uh, EU, my fault, EU talent show. So a lot of good things. I've not seen these teams very much. This is my first time, so I'm going in as blind as much as you viewers are. Uh, we have a Baron, a Flicker, and a Lance on the right side for the Les Cancerix, with the Anka, Lance, and a Vox for uh, Pot Potne Katka. Um, quite a hard team name to say, but. We do see some interesting comps right here. A uh, Baron with a Flicker. A Baron, if he is going to CP, it's able a lot easier to end uh, land his Modars with a Flicker. Um, a Vox, if, it's, if it is a weapon power Vox, he's able to most likely build a good amount of stacks onto the enemy Lance. Um, but I've never witnessed these teams ever play before, so this is our first time. Looks like some good talents are coming out. A lot of epics and a legend, uh, one legendary, and a good amount of epics coming out, of course. And uh, here we go. First to 15 point wins onto the Halcyon Fold, and the first ever EU talent show starts. Uh, it looks like an Anka is going with a Shadow Glass and a Spellfire, the Lord Sullivan. Good, good start off, of course, against with a Baron of Flicker. Uh, okay, there goes Flickers coming on with a lot of endless motors coming from Mato. There goes the root right back onto the Flicker. Much more damage, massive amount of damage is coming out. Unskill is trying to save up the team. There goes the Baron's ultimate. Flicker is able to come out alive, but it looks like they're targeting themselves onto the Anka. Will Anka go down? And yes, she does. The first blood goes onto Les Cancerix. And coming back onto the right side. Flicker is trying to keep himself alive. Endless Motors are doing a good amount of damage, and looks like he is going to shut him down. There he goes. Lance falls down. Lord Subro is going to be taken out. I Dance is the only one for Pod Katka. It doesn't, looks like Lord Selvin is actually able to come in, but it does look like he's taking a lot of damage coming back. There goes so much more damage out. There goes the Barons. Oh, not. Oh, yes, he does. He is able to land onto Lord Selvin and just barely making out alive. Subro looks like he's coming back, but it looks like they're not worried about him. Looks like they're trying to get onto the turret, but now they have focused back their target onto Subro. Baron is taking some good amount of damage. Unskilled is actually also trying to keep his team just about alive. Dan actually does fall, and there goes Mato. Also falls also. Um, Unskilled is trying to keep the Flicker alive, and they're able to take out Subro. And now it does look like they're trying to keep their eyes on the prize for Selvin. Selvin does go down. There goes a the triple kill. 1-5. Less Cancerix is in the lead. Uh, interesting builds. Um, Lance doesn't look like he's going too much. He's going. He went for a, a, a Storm Crown and an Aftershock was probably the biggest help for him. Um, but other than that, I believe he's able to keep his team alive. But it does look like a fight's about to break out in there here. The Baron does try to go out for the Lance. So a good amount of endless Modar is trying to switch onto his targets between the Lance and the Vox, being very unpredictable between the two. There goes the Flicker. Tension goes. He's actually trying to go on and in, try to slow down the Lance to end, land more endless Modars coming out. The Fountain comes out, keeping out Podcat uh, even alive more. Um, Ankh, Baron's ultimate, not able to land on anybody. And there comes another Fountain from Unskilled. More endless Modars comes out. Dance does fall, and so does Silbro. Selvin is the only one, last one alive, trying to take out the Lance right there. Not able to do much. There comes more Modars coming out. Tenshi goes, actually, is going to be taken out, and yes, he does. Doesn't look like too much is coming on to Pat Katka's side. Um, I know, like... It does look like they're trying to get Sylvan does look like he's trying to get this entry by right there. Does look like Subro is gonna go down. Will he go down? He's taking some good amount of damage coming out into there. Baron's motors are actually doing much more damage between the two. Anka is trying to keep her distance off away from people. And Dance does fall due to the Baron. Baron is doing much more damage upon there. Anka falls and so does Subro. And it does look like they're gonna take the crystal sentry to secure the win for 
less, uh, yeah, less cancerous. Um, man, that was that was much more of a one-sided fight, honestly. Seventeen to one, uh, exceeded the limit and everything. Uh, it's unskilled, actually able to do a good amount with that rare talent of his reinforced walls to keep his own team alive. Very good play between the two teams. All right, now we're gonna switch up into the teams onto the other side. Now this is a best out of three match with the EU, same thing as for NA on the talent show. Uh, Baron was able to do a good amount of damage to shred down the team, so hopefully uh, Pot Kanka can actually bring it back up to life. And we are going to start onto the second match. Yes, yes lady, size just switched. And here we go. I am assuming Less Cancers is going to come back with the same comp. Uh, it honestly did not look that bad, but maybe not. Um, Areza has been locked in for Lord Selvin. Does look like Pot, um, Pot Nike, uh, Katka is going to change it to some things up, but we can never always know. Um, a Trainwalker and a Vox comes out. For less cancerics, a flicker does come out for Celebro on Pot Katka. And there we go, we have the full team. Unskilled's coming with an Arden, and Dan's coming with the Idris. Now, Dan's last game, he was the Vox, I believe. So, switching it up like this, I'm surprised that uh, less cancer did not come back with the same comp. Um, if they did, they probably would have had a good chance, but, you know, they decided to switch some things up, and there's totally nothing wrong with that. Alright, and here we go. We're starting off on through the second round between Les Cancerix and Potanai Katka. I'm going to have to get myself used to that name if you guys are going to participate more into the EU tournament. And there we go. First to 15 points onto the house again fold starts now. It does look like they are going to rush towards middle. Trainwalker is going to stay up onto the top lane. Vox? Teo right through there. The Teo is coming in with the good CP Vox. Not, I mean, not a bad choice. I take it. I take that. Um... Dan does have a good amount of a build, but there it goes. Sullivan actually trying to come out in. Teo is actually taking some good amount of damage, and there he goes down. Trainwalker is the next target for them. The stun comes out. It does look like Unskilled is trying to protect off his team. Dan is also taking some damage. Does the Crucible is popped off. Trainwalker's hooks are still on through them, so this is very interesting. A pull comes in, and so does a fountain. Reza is able to escape. Arden's gauntlet is coming out. They're able to get stunned, but there they go, coming right back. Unskilled is able to secure the kill, and another fountain is pumped off for cancerous. There goes Reza. Reza is actually trying to engage onto Tenshigo. Tenshigo is able to bring them all back as a Chernwalker hooks. Very, very passive play. They were trying to, they knew they couldn't win in a 2v3, but it does look like Selvin is going back to the aggressive. <laughs> it's ironic for me to say, call us a passive play. He does get himself killed, not able to secure the kill, but Mateo is some taking some damage from the turn. Will he die? Yes, he does. Turn actually is able to help upon them. Tenshigo is going to port home. Unskilled is the next target. Being targeted, Warchest is popped out. Idris is hooked onto the flicker. He's trying to finish him off, and yes, he does. Now... Due to Idris' Path of the Seeker, it grants him both abilities, so both perks, to dash forward and do some extra basic attack damage. A hook is onto Dan's and to Selvin. The Vox Sciences comes out. This looks like Dan's and Selvin has taken a massive amount of damage from Mateo, but also from Tenshigo. It looks like the Warchest is going to pop off. They're going to secure the kill with a turn. Now, just put them into the lead in objectives. He's not going to let Selvin go home at all. It does look like they want to kill. Fountain is popped off by the flicker. It does look like Teo's the next target. Selvin is taking some good damage from behind. And it does look like 
a whole entire team of Partenoi Katka is taken out. Teo is barely, just barely surviving upon that, is forcing himself to get a healing chain. But it does look like they have their prize, or their eyes is onto the prize of the turn. It does look like they are trying to get vengeance back right through here. Turn is taken down, but Teo is also taken down with that turn. Unskilled is taking massive damage from Dance. It doesn't look like too much is going to break out. Dance is break. Oh, Dance is able to secure the kill. Path of the Seeker, his perk, but they're not able to get him off alive. Unfortunately, Tenshigo is the next target, trying to keep himself alive as much as possible. The flask is popped off from Tenshigo. Much more damage from Reza. Reza is not able to do so much, but and there he goes. Aftershock is taken into place, and he is able to secure the kill for Potnoik Pantka. It was a very interesting fight. Uh, Selvin was lacking in some damage to finish off the turn, but he was able to get the job done. I do not blame him at all. But it does look like the Gongala is going to break out down into the middle century near there. Subro was not able to get out. He got stunned also. Teo is looking to be played very aggressive. Summering Husk is pumped off from Teo. There goes the Fountain from Churn. Much more damage is coming off. It does look like less cancer. Teo is going to be taken out. It does look like a 2v3 for less cancer. It does not look like in a good position for them. But on the other hand, Padnoi Kanka is on low health. There goes Dance. Dance is might be taken down from the churn's hooks. No, he is not. Lifesteal is not able to get there in time. Sobo is the next target. And so is Sobin. Sobin is able to dash away. Sobo is barely taking off. It does look like the pull's gonna come back. Unskilled does look like he's trying to finish him off. But it is a utility Arden. So no weapon power well, no, no weapon power damage is coming out. Excuse me there for a second. Tenshigo is the target now. Sobro is coming back in through there. Sobro is low on health, but Teo comes back in with a science. Now he does look like he's gonna get melted by the enemy, but he's barely surviving. There goes he's able to secure a kill. And there goes the next kill. And the enemy Crystal Sentry has been taken out to secure a win for a less cancer. Congratulations. They are moving on to the finals. A very interesting build between these two teams, of course. Vox coming with the CP, always a helpful thing. Uh, Selbro did try his best to keep his teammates alive, but it does look like he came up just a bit short. I do not blame him, but it was a very good game. GG, all GG. Now, if we go ahead and switch over to the loading screen of the EZL, we will be right back with our next teams.
Unicorn X and Camaretas, um, or the Camaretta, specifically. Uh, we have Unicorn X onto the left side with Bro Broski, Loli Luna, and oh, Loli Luna and Rick, Rick, call him Rick, is that Rick? And onto Camaretta side, Kiss Lead Us, Zane and Beaumont, and here's how the game's gonna go. Blitz first fifteen points to win, and here we go. Match is gonna go on its way. Um, I've never seen anything from these two teams either, so this is my first time. This is the semifinals, so winner of best out of three does move on. <sighs> does it look like Zane is gonna lock in for a lance? Now that is a good question. Is it a weapon power lance or is it a utility lance? Utility lance is always very helpful with the reinforced walls as his talent. Very, very strong barrier. It's gonna be taking on quite some time to get rid of that barrier, so questionable. Beaumont is coming, or Beaumont is coming in with the Adagio. Now, I'm assuming that it's going to be CP Adagio. Um, only just because if Lance is able to land a root on through them, he's going to use his burst of judgment a little bit more helpful. And Kiss Lee does, does come in with a Baron, probably weapon power Baron. So it's going to be a very interesting match. But on the flip side, with the Unicorn X, we have Bro Broski coming in with Vox. Uh, I'm assuming that it's a CP Vox because. Um, Lelunia uh, is coming in with an Arden, possibly weapon power, and Rick is with a train walker. Now, Unicorn X does have a very interesting comp. Um, as you guys seen last time, you had a train walker able to hook onto enemies and pull them back into Arden's gauntlet again to give him a second stun, given the ability for a box to finish them off. So let's see how all of this goes. Now, if we look onto the talents, we have Vox's legendary talent, Echo Chamber, and Arden's uh, Vanguardian. And it does it does look like he's, he's gonna go utility also. And the match starts. First 15 points onto the Hansi unfold. The second semifinals between Unicorn X onto the left side and Camaretta onto the right. It does look like they're gonna engage onto the enemy side. Zane is coming in with Trying to poke him off. A gauntlet does come out. Uh, Lunia is going to be able to use that gauntlet. Bowman is going to get himself caught up into the middle. Versus Judgment is going to be popped off. There goes some stun also. Kiss Lita's is going to do some good amount of damage from the back line, of course. Chairwalker stun is able to stun on all the enemies, able to hook on through all of them. Bowman is going to be taken down. And so does Kiss Lita's. And Zane is going to be the only one left alive, giving Unicorn the middle century. Leading the score to 5 now. Um, as I assumed wrong, it's not an open power Baron. <laughs> CP Baron is going to be helpful, of course, with the back line, but if, I believe Zane did get the, he did get rollout epic talent, so there is no reinforced walls to keep that Baron alive. It does look like Zane is going to try to take out Sentry. We did see this in the NA last week, um... As we talent show, it's gonna have one person take out the Crystal Sentry, get them all distracted, while the Baron is gonna push turret. But now coming back through down through there here. Um versus judgment does pop off. Broski is gonna be taken low. So does Zane. Zane might be finished off, and yes he will. But Baron is gonna come in and save the day. Kind of. Not really. It's, he's, he's gonna steal some kills. Um Kiss Leaders is gonna do some damage. And Beaumont is gonna be walking away with half the health. Zane, not sure. He did secure the sentry, so he was able to get an objective for three coins extra. But it did not look like he was going to try to do much more else. But it does look like they're going to hook onto the Baron. Baron is going to finish off the turn. They're going to engage onto Kiss. Rick is going to keep his hooks onto there. Broski is going to be doing some damage. Turn is going to be focusing back onto them, but Rick is going to take it. Or tank it, excuse me. And Zane looks like he was going to start into the crystal sentry, but it looks like he backed off there a bit. Now they do have vision on. Zane was not able to secure the sentry and coming back onto the fight. Kiss comes back up alive. Beaumont is separated from his teammate and it does not look like in a good position for these guys. With my Discord? Probably. 
Pulse. But coming back into the fight right through here, Zayn is going to keep himself caught up into the middle. Versus Judgment is going to pump up, able to get a get the stun onto the enemy. Or no, actually, Versus Able to be taken out. It does look like they have their eyes onto the middle sentry there. They might be able to take it. Beaumont, or Unia, is going to keep Beaumont distracted. Zayn is looking for the right moment. The... Heals or the gift of fire is gonna be popped off. They are able to secure the middle century. Congratulations, Zane. Good job, man. Good job. I appreciate that. But Virtual Judgment is gonna be popped off once again, able to do some massive amount of damage and a heal Boma himself. Zane is gonna stun all the enemies. Baron is coming himself from the top side, prepared to get that fight in. A Rue comes out. Baron's Modars is gonna be finishing them off. The Endless Modars is a very, very good talent to keep up in this situation. Zane is gonna be rooting onto the enemy. Unia is going to be caught off, separated from Chen Walker right there, it goes the gauntlet to keep the enemy outside of the wall. But it does look like they have their eyes on Rick, but no, it looks like they're going to pop off a bit. And Kiss is going to be supporting Rick, possibly? No, they're not. Beaumont is going to be using another burst of judgment to secure his teammate's health. The Endless Modars is coming out upon with that stun from the burst of judgment, so good job. And there goes Chenwalker and Broski. Does not look like Unia can do so much, but it does look like a tables have turned. The next point wins. It does look like they're gonna try to keep themselves onto the Crystal Sentry, even though they could have taken the enemy sentry. But it does look like they're gonna take out the Crystal Sentry. And Crystal Sentry is gonna go down with a win to uh K Camerata. Ugh, these team names. Congratulations, Camerata, to secure the first win. Uh, Beaumont versus Judgment, of course, his healing verse, his talent right there is able to keep his team alive. That was very, very, uh, very helpful for the team. Uh, Bro Broski was actually able to do some good amount of damage from the back line. Of course, they did they did play the protect the damage dealer type, but it didn't look like it worked out so well for them. Now, coming back on in. We are going to switch sides. A very good game between the two. And if we are ready, we will begin the second round between Camaretta and Unicorns. Yep, 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 yep. All right, there you go. Here we go. Match is gonna get started off and away. Whenever VG decides to respond, there we go. All right, Unicorn is on the right side now, and Camerota is on the left. Zane does lock in another Lance. Possibly the same comp. Possibly. But Unicorn is, does not look like they're having it. Broski is hovering over the pedal, possibly taking out the pedal. Um, I'm not sure what to expect. I'm hoping that uh, Unicorn, oh, not, not Unicorns, Camerata does come back with the same comp. They, it did work out very well. And there goes the Adagio and the Baron. Yes, yes, they do. The same team comp does come out. And I believe, possibly, if Zane does get a reinforced wall, able to keep it. Kiss a little bit, but just alive, just a little bit longer. Possibly not. Maybe they do have another trick up their sleeves. Um, almost the same team. Unia is gonna come in with the same Arden. Broski coming with a Baron as a response to the other Baron, and so does Rick coming with another response. Now you guys should just have to admire that Golden Nether Knight Lance skin. The, the limited edition. Of course, it is a thing of beauty. But now, here we go, right back on into the match once again. We are able to get out some talents. Kiss and. Actually, Kiss is actually coming with endless modars, and Bro Broski only has turbo jets. It does look like a weapon power. Or a uh, weapon power baron. So, quite interesting. Quite interesting match to see here. Uh, Beaumont comes in with a total different. Angle at things. <laughs> Getting a bang for his buck for sure. Clockwork capacitator plates and four O cards. Way to go keeping yourself alive, man. Talk about health. 
Now it does look like a little brawl is gonna break out. There goes the ultimate. Now a lot of damage is coming out to Zane. Zane is gonna be for, uh Gauntlet does come out from Unia. Broski is taking much more amount of damage from the back line. The reverse judgment is gonna come pop out, keeping Kiss alive. Uh Broski does look like he's gonna take a good amount of damage. But he isn't able to keep himself alive from Rick's uh not Rick's. I I take that back. Unia's fountain. Now they do look like they're gonna start in Crystal Century. But now much more of the fight breaks out. Endless Modars is gonna be able to take out or take out Broski. Broski does fall and leaving his teammates in a 2v3 situation. There goes the uh, uh, Vanguard, keeping Rick just barely alive. Rick's trying to keep himself alive, but it does not look like he's doing so good. Will he be able to keep alive? Zane does actually is able to take him out. Now, it looks like they're going to keep onto the sentry right there, but Broski does not look like he's having it. He's coming back on in with his own response. Broski is actually not able to defend himself from the turn. Or defend the sentry, but Bohan is actually to keep himself alive with that burst of judgment. Healing burst, very good talent. Kiss actually able to secure the sentry, but now it looks like another fight is about to break out. Broski is going to go down very quickly. There's look like the ultimate from the Baron. Let's turn into the wall. Rick does look like he's trying to target the Baron, trying to keep his own teammate alive in the back. Zane is going to focus onto Unia. Rick is coming back to keep his own teammate alive, trying to see, possibly protect him. Now the fight keeps on breaking out. The healing tree is going to target somebody. Versus Judgment does pop out. Oh no, Zane is barely, he rolled out of the Versus Judgment, not able to get the health back. But he does able to keep himself alive. Broski is going to take some good amount of damage. The Vanguard is popped off. There goes more damage. The turret is down. Kiss actually able to secure the turret. Coming right back onto the fight here, Zane is to take... Possibly is gonna take it taken out. Yes, he does, but he is able to get the triple stun on through there. The endless motors is gonna come out. Will he be able to secure the kill and secure the game? Rick is taken down. There's only Kiss left. Kiss is just try to keep himself onto the uh, Baron right there. Uh, Vanguard comes out to keep Broski alive. There goes the ultimate. Trying to focus him onto the ultimate, and he does not. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. <laughs> what an amazing kill. Kiss actually. Sacrifices his own life to take down an enemy. Now, next point does win. Camerata does look like they have their eyes onto the Crystal Century. Will, uh, will Rick actually be able to steal it? It does look like he's gonna take out the Scout Cam, double Scout Cam. Now, it does look like they are gonna engage onto it, but Endless Motors is gonna come out, and yes, he does. Endless Motors from Kiss does secure the win. Congratulations, to the Cameratas, for winning against. Unicorns. Baron CP will always be better than Weapon Power Baron. In Blitz! In Blitz, in my personal opinion, in my humble opinion, only in Blitz. Possibly if you are very good and skilled with Baron. Might be anywhere else. But Rick actually did a good job keeping Unia alive. Unia did not die, but Rick sacrificed himself multiple times, so. Um, healing Verse from Beaumont. Keeping his teammates alive was a very good thing. So congratulations to Camerata for that win. And, uh, yeah. GG. If we do keep uh, next teammate, we have coming back onto the finals here. Less Cancer X versus Camerata as the final. So do not go anywhere. Stay tuned. We have, uh, not unicorns. No, 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 no. They just lost. 
semifinals. We have Camaretta versus uh, Les Cancerex. And we are going to start and see if these teams are ready. Are they ready? Are they not? Yes, yes, yes. We got two yeses from each team. And we are going to start the Blitz right through there. Now, we've seen a very good comp between the Lance, the Adagio, and the Baron. Oh my god, Zane coming. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Les Cancer. I actually was talking about this earlier. They literally said, they told, they, I believe they're boosting their own ego right now. They're, they're actually being very confident in themselves. Saying that they are going to go for you, Baron, Flicker, and Lance combo. So immediately insta lock between those two. Uh, it does look like the same comp from Zane, Kiss, and Beaumont. So it does look like this. these are the comps that won their team game. These are the comps that they won with. So to be able to go 2-0 and for both of these teams going up against each other is something to look forward to. You know something not to look forward to? My casting skills, because that will always suck. Yay. All right, coming back onto the match right here. Um, the same talents does come out as they as before. Um, the healing verse and the reinforced walls from the Beaumont, from Beaumont and Unskilled, keep their team alive. Let's see how it's gonna go. A healing versus a barrier type gameplay. All good luck, have fun, comes in from Teo, and comes in from Kiss. Very good sportsmanship. Teo does look like he's going to push the lane a little bit earlier right through there just to clear the main. Teo is going to be taken very low, and actually, Kiss actually is going to be taking a lot. Also, Tail is going to be possibly taking out. Yes, he does. Zane actually is able to secure the kill. Now, it does look like Unskilled is going to focus up onto the Kiss. But now, back onto the fight over here. Uh, does look like um, Tenjigo is actually going to come back in. The Versa Judgment is going to keep his team alive. Much more damage. And much more damage is actually coming out onto Tenjigo. Tenjigo is going to be taken out. Unskilled might also be taken out. The reinforced walls to keep his barrier alive there. Zane is going to be focusing down. There goes his stun. Kiss actually able to go down. But a lot more endless motors coming out. The, uh, Teo is not actually able to get there in time, but it does look like Zane actually is going to be focusing on through him. The, uh, he does dodge the ultimate. What a play! What a play! My goodness! The Reverse Judgment is going to come out, keeping his whole entire team alive. Tenchi, though, actually is trying to stop that, but not so much it can be done. They look like they're trying to take out the turn, but no, they're not. They're going to take out Tenchi, go. They focus back on Tenchi, go when the minions weren't there. Oh, no! Oh, no! The silly like Boma is going to be caught up on all of that. Unskilled, actually, it's going to be rooting kiss kiss actually is going to force himself to come back tenshigo is coming back versus judgment is going to keep his whole teammates alive once again much more damage is going to be breaking out endless motors also unskilled play or unskilled play unskilled not unskilled to play unskilled actually is able to keep himself alive but tenshigo was not much more damage is coming out teo does look like a target but versus judgment is going to come out through there doing some Minor damage to unskilled, but not too much. Kiss actually is trying to focus down into the art. And Lance does come back. Zane actually might get himself killed. Yes, he does. Unskilled actually is able to secure it and it's shut down. Congratulations, skilled. You actually able to do that much, man, for your team. Actually, much more damage does come out. Oh no. Oh no. Beaumont is actually taken out. Quite unfortunate. But it does look like more kills. Actually, is. Uh. Kiss actually was able to get killed. They're there. But not... None of the above. Now the Versa Judgment is going to be pumping up. Zane actually... Actually to keep himself alive there. Beaumont. Zane actually is going to be focusing into Teo. Teo actually is gonna keep be keep uh, kept alive from unskilled fountain. Another, another ultimate does pop out by Kiss now. Zade is gonna be taking some damage. There it goes the verse of judgment coming out. Kiss actually might be taken out. Can she go? Will he be taken out? No, he does not. 
Uh, actually, yeah. I'm just kidding. I was focusing on the wrong person. Teo actually is able to keep himself alive. Tenshigo was taken out. There goes the aggression judgment to keep his own teammates alive, pushing him off, trying to. No, Te Teo. Teo, no. Teo falls. And so it is unskilled. No. Oh, no. No, 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 no. For ca less cancerix. Congratulations, though, to uh, Camera uh, Camaretta to secure that first win. Uh, but Teo. Oh. He, he over pushed, over extended. Zane was actually able to get that last kill with the Aftershock and Storm Crown to do a good amount of damage all through there. Uh, Kiss, of course, coming with the Shadow Glass, Clockwork, and Spellfire. Good, good combo. Uh, I'm quite surprised because Teo does have level 7 onto Endless Baldars compared to Kiss with only level 5. Maybe Teo is not so skilled uh, with uh, Baron. But let's go ahead and swap the teams there a bit. Oof. Are teams correct? I don't know. I'm a little... Yeah, I did, because I, I, I accidentally kicked Unskilled out. Still not? What? Oh, wait, wait, what? Right. Coming in with the second match because of my
killed. It's gonna take some damage right there. Malene actually is able to keep Tenchigo alive. There goes the Versa Judgment. Actually, oh my goodness, keeping his own teammate alive. But it does not look like Tenchigo is actually gonna stay alive for long. There she goes. She falls down. Teo actually is trying to take out the Baron. Possibly not. Zane actually does look like he's able to keep himself onto the enemy side and to the other side. Does look like they're gonna take out the turret. And if they aren't, that is gonna put them into a 10 and no lead. And yes, they do. Versa Judgment is gonna come out to keep his own teammates alive. Oh, keep himself alive. Malin was nowhere in there. Then she goes coming back. The verse, uh, uh, the healing verse does come out now. Uh, oh, too much damage. It's gonna be taken out. Kiss does fall finally. Unskilled actually able to keep his teammates alive. Maybe they might be able to get a third kill on him through here. No, they will not. Zane actually is able to keep himself alive. And excuse me, I said a gift of fire for a Dajo, and I am completely wrong. It is a healing verse also. Beaumont actually is trying to come down to Zane. Zane is actually caught up onto the wrong side, not able to position himself into a fight. And there goes Alan to break onto another fight. Zane trying to keep himself alive. There goes the here comes the verse of judgment. Zane Oh no, what happened? I think he got I think he got feared. That's that's quite sad. Um, there goes out another. Oh no, Kiss actually is gonna be taken out. They were focusing down on Kiss, they're actually taking out their damning damage dealer. There goes out another burst of judgment, actually able to keep himself on Zane alive just barely. Zane actually coming out. No, 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 another burst of judgment. No, he gets stunned. There goes Tenshigo. Tenshigo is actually focusing on Zane. Not able to do so much. Yes, he does actually. He's actually able to secure the kill. Tenshi goes now focusing on to Kiss. Kiss actually is being countered right here. Does not look like he's able to keep himself alive too much. He's able to barely get himself into that burst of judgment there. The endless motors actually might be able to know. Bowman actually is able to take out the Malene. Tail actually is going to be taken out, unfortunately. Now, they're literally going to keep their eyes on to the Crystal Sentry. Until it is right there. They have put two scout cams. Oh, Endless Motors actually is coming out. Tenshigo is taking some quite some damage there. The Versa Judgment is to keep Teo, uh, Tenshigo actually alive. Kiss actually is, might be taken out. Will he? Yes, he will. Teo is going to be taken out by Tenshigo. But it does not look like so good for Boma. Boma is going to be taken out before the Versa Judgment can even be activated. Zayn actually trying to keep himself barely alive here. So they don't take the Crystal Sentry. It does look like he just wants to barely keep himself alive. They're focusing on through him. It might be a terrible mistake on through him. And his and he's gonna run away with just barely some health. He actually is gonna come back. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. Whoops. Only Tay are actually able to secure that crystal century. That would have been an amazing steal with the push. But it does not look like kids can actually get that turn. Turn is very low. If you actually able to get that, they would put them into the lead, but not quite. 11 to 13, it's barely some time left onto the clock there. 30 seconds are remaining. Zane actually is trying to come on in. The fear actually does come out by tail. Much more damage is coming out. Tenshigo actually is going to dive on in. Actually trying to get the Versa Judgment is going to be popping off to keep their own teammates alive. Two Versa Judgment, to be exact. Motors are going to be popped off by Kiss and... No, actually just Kiss. Tenshigo actually is diving onto him. Uh, no! No, not quite there. Kiss actually is going to be taken out by Tenchigo. There goes the first adjustment, but time is up. If Kiss was able to actually just barely survive, it would have been over to overtime. But well played from Les Cancerix. Actually, putting pushing the finals to a, a third match. One and one between these two teams. Zane doing a very good job. Honestly, the same comp, but it does look like Tenshigo came in with the response as an Anka to counter that uh, Baron. So, very well played by Tenshigo. Very good skill to play. Very, very close between these two teams. Good sportsmanship between them. Alright, are we ready? We're going on to the third round of the match, of the finals match, third round, and let's see if these two teams are ready. Will they?
Are you ready, boys? Let's see between. Okay, Zayn is ready. This look like he's gonna speak out for his team. Yep, Kiss actually is ready. I'm not hearing very much from Tenshi Gill and Tail, or even Unskilled. Let's see what's going on with them. I cannot start the match until they all are ready. Yep, unskilled actually, yep, yep, there it is. I guess they just don't want to read my messages, huh? Alright. Oh wait, no. Did I mess something up? No, I did not. Okay, thank god. Alright. Now let's see if uh less cancer is gonna come back with the same comp with the Anka, of course, with a very good pick on in theater. And let's see if I believe this is the short-term memory. I'm retarded. Wait. Wait. Taking at the team name. I gotta search this up again. Oh. Oh, Camerata. Walls? Well, I'm pretty retarded. Alright. It's it's okay. It's okay. This is uh I'm even though this is live I am expressing myself. I'm not gonna put on no fake show here. I'm not gonna cover myself. This is who I am. Alright, team comps are coming out of course. Zane does have the Pinnacle Lance, of course. Very good skin also. But with the Arden following up and the Adagio, not quite sure what they're planning here, but let's see. Um, Tail, of course, with the Scarf. Not, I've not seen the Scarf pick at all this tournament, I believe. Tends to go with another Trin Walker coming back and Unskilled also coming back with the Arden. So let's see how these two teams actually do play up against each other. Less Cancerix. And Camerata with the final match of the EU Week 1 Talent Show. Best out of three, third match. Let's see how it all goes. And good luck to both teams. The winner will be crowned winner. Zane does look like they're actually going to start onto the Crystal Sentry there. Beaumont is actually going to stay onto the enemy side. I turn. Hook comes out from Tenshi Go. Reverse of Judgment. Actually, Arden actually able to secure a kiss. Actually able to secure that double gauntlet. Oh my goodness. This is not the first. Oh, and those are they're all going to get stunned. Scarf actually Dragon Breath not able to be pumped off of their tail. Actually, he's going to be taken down. Kiss might actually get taken down. Also, Kiss actually can stay alive. Kiss actually will not be taken down. Zane actually is also very low. Does not look like a good sign for Camaretta. Both teams are actually, um, both teams are actually low. The Reverse of Judgment is pumped off to keep his stuff alive. Zane actually is barely alive also. Beaumont. Trying to keep his own team in line. Tenshi Go actually trying to keep hooks onto them to do some get some life steal damage. Zane's gonna run to the other side. Now back into here with Beaumont. Beaumont actually is gonna kiss actually gonna come back to, to protect Beaumont onto the other side. Does it like Zane is gonna try to get the crystal sentry? Teo is there. Does not look like he's having it at all. Trying to stop Zane. And Zane does finally back off. Oh no. Oh no. Will Zen actually be finished over here? But coming back into the other side of the fight, of course, Tenshigo is trying to keep his own. Tenshigo is actually is taking a good amount of damage, of course. Uh, Beaumont, actually, the Versus Judgment is coming out. Coming back onto the other side. Teo does a way might he's still focusing on his name, but Kiss actually is coming back with some massive damage as a weapon power artist. Actually able to secure it. But Teo is actually not going down without a kill. It's taking that trade right there. The center is defeated. Beaumont is here now. Will he activate the rest of judgment? Only three seconds up until cooldown. Kiss actually trying to keep himself alive, doing some good damage out through there. Here comes the rest of judgment to keep Kiss alive. Once again, the crucible actually coming out, but not actually able to work it out. Able to still get stunned. Tenshigo is taking loan out. The found is popped up by unskilled. A tree coming in. Trin actually was so close to rooting Tenshigo is there trying to hood Zane actually is trying to keep out Teo. But Gauntlet is pumped off to separate Kant's um Camerata's team. But now it does look like they're trying to take out Crystal Sentry. 
Now, Tenshigo is actually very quick to come down onto that right through there. But Tenshigo actually is able to take him the security of the century. Teo actually in the back line actually is taking up uh, some good damage from Zayn. Zayn is actually able to get back onto the root kiss. Is quite low, but not quite as low as Zayn. Waiting for that opportunity right through there. Yes, he does. He comes back. There goes to another burst of judgment. Keeping his own teammates alive. Very annoying. Very talented play. Unskilled is going to take him low. There goes to the stun to keep his own teammates alive. Zane, will he actually be able to do it? Potential go actually is going to be taken very low also. Unskilled Dragon Breath does come out, actually not able to get stunned. The tail is taking some damage, quite some damage right there. The tail is going to be taken out, just coming back back on into the fight. The Versa Judgment barely keeping Kiss alive. Potential go might be taken out here. And yes, he does. 906 damage from the Arden. But now it looks like they're actually able to secure the win. And yes, Camaretta is actually able to secure the win. The first EU talent show winners for the first week. The Camarettas had a very good match with Les Cancerx. And congratulations to Camaretta for winning the game. GG to both teams. Uh, yeah, give me a second. Uh, coming back in through here, of course. Very good, very good, uh, very good, um, plays, of course, between these two teams. Tayo, Tenshiko, and Unskilled are coming just quite short, pushing them to a, uh, Camarada actually pushing less cancer X to a 1-1 and now actually able to secure it. So congratulations to these two teams. And I believe that will conclude it for the first week of EU Talent Show. Congratulations to D Camarada for winning it. Um, we will see you guys next week. I have been your host, David Zook, and followed by a little old lady as our streamer. So... Make sure you give her a follow. Make sure you support her for streaming this. And thank you once again for hosting this match. And the Camaretta and Les Cancer X. Hopefully we see you guys back onto the Halcyon Fold next week for the EU Talent Show with another very good match. This has been a very good match. I have been your host, Data Zook, and we will be signing off.